In terms of themes, was there any particular, I mean, apart from the fact that there are contemporary South Asian artists yeah. here and in South Asia, was there a specific theme in terms of ideas? And also, I mean, we'll walk around the gallery, yeah, of course, but sure. the way you guys have, uh, you know, put the art on yeah. the walls. You know, the, 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 uh, the marrying theme in this uh, show is identity. They're all talking about, uh, you know, their, you know, their, they're exploring their identity in the moment that they are. Mm -hmm. uh, you have Talha here, mm -hmm. who does, uh, who is from trained uh, at the NCA, the National College of Art in Lahore, who has trained in miniature painting but has spent a lot of time in Brooklyn. So her medium is to do miniature work on subway maps. It's a wonderful idea, and, you know, right? It's, yeah. it's really beautiful. I, uh, you know, we should uh, go near right. to those works to, to see them. Uh, but, but what she's trying to explore is this whole experience of coming as a Pakistani uh, from Lahore and living in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. in this city where mm -hmm. uh, the subway map is something you hold on to for security, but the subway map is also something that makes you feel lost. <laughs> you know, it's an incredible right. dichotomy right. of feelings. Right. Uh, and that's, you know, that's why it's, uh, you know, an Eastern tradition of painting transposed on, on a very sort of Western uh, mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm. So there are these kind of conversations that talk about identity, uh, you know, we'll talk about Abir's work in a bit. That's what uh, the show is about. It really is about voices. It's about this exploring of this moment of such diversity in the country, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and the region, I should say. Mm -hmm. So I think we should look at some of the art. I mean, you can walk around and check it out. One of the things that I need to point out is actually that one of the galleries, the ceilings are very high, so there will be an echo at some point. Um, but let's go check it out. So let's go, let's go. So uh, this piece you actually mentioned, her name is Talha Rathor and she lives in Brooklyn. Can you right. just talk to us about this and some of the other work? Sure. Uh, so Talha lives in Brooklyn. Uh, in, in, uh, she, her husband is uh, an artist as well, though he, you know, because of the situation that we're all in, mm -hmm. uh, he, I don't think he practices as much. Uh, but uh, Talha, you know, trained in the, at the National College of Lahore, which is one of the, uh, you know, highest institutions of art learning there, and trained in the, in, in the tradition of miniature work. But, for, you know, the one thing wonderful about the school is they really push uh, contemporary voices. Mm -hmm. They push contemporary expression, which is why I'm really excited about Pakistani art. I think uh, it's really phenomenal. So, you know, you can really see the uh, in, intricate detail, which all comes from for the miniature, uh, from the right. miniature tra uh, right. training, and uh, the paint is also gouache, which is a very uh, traditional uh, Eastern uh, medium. But then um, she leaves the border. But she leaves the, the subway, border. The but, but the whole work is done on a subway map right. that's retreated, and it's called Vasli. So. You know how in India and Pakistan there are kabariwalas who get all uh -huh. their, their uh, uh -huh. you know, right. newspapers and then they take it and recycle it with rat poison and use glue uh, and then it gets this quality where the, 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 the paint really, the, it absorbs color really well so it's a uh -huh. nice medium for them to work. So she's reworked subway maps as wasleys, things to paint on. Ah, you know, what's interesting is that I can actually see Coney Island here and I can see Brighton Beach yeah. there. So she's, it, exactly. it's touches of her Brooklyn life actually that so, she's showing. So let's now talk about that. I talked about how, what, what her, her method was, but let's talk about what she's trying to say, you know, mm -hmm. in, in the work. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, the art is always the metaphors for, you know, exploring uh, something that people want to uh, tell about themselves. And I think that she's talking about her identity. She's talking about having this very, you know, as, as an, an amoeba under a microscope, she's being seen and watched, but she's in this very alien world mm -hmm. that she's getting to know. And, you know, so you have all these things that are, uh, that, that are sort of found objects in her life that she's put into yeah, her life. That's awesome. So now this is a bigger piece by her, and I think it's yeah. absolutely stunning because, right. I mean, she has the subway map, again, the border, yeah. and then she, these are little pieces of the subway map that she's torn. And exactly. They're, they're torn, but she's used paint. She's used uh, sort of, you know, pen. And uh, look at the sort of layers of work that mm -hmm. go in. And she's used different uh, uh, 
you know, a sort of a different palette in the middle, uh, which all works with each mm-hmm. other, and it's like just so, it's so rich. Uh, there's so much uh, sort of depth to the work, and it's a paperwork. I mean, right. you know, you, I bet you, you've uh, sort of been conditioned to to think that you know, canvas works are big works, right. and they're more expensive, and they're you know. But there's a, you know, this is such a treasure and, and there's such a tradition of great paperwork and this show has some really lovely paperwork. So, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I asked you this question, um, is this watercolor or what kind of color this is This is gouache. Gouache, okay, uh, that's the color itself. Yeah. Which is thicker than, uh, which is kind of thicker than uh, okay. uh, watercolor. It's a little bit Good. more earthy. No, yeah, this is absolutely stunning. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, it's called a boundless C three. A boundless C three. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so should we go to the next room and see some sure. of the work there? Sounds good. Let's go.